Hi friends, thank you for coming to watch this video. My name is Lupe from um, Line Art Studios. So today's colors are very green. We're gonna be using golden uh, light thalo green. We're gonna be using um, folk art blue flash, uh, master's touch silver, Liquitec basics lime green, and master's touch um, grass green. And so in a split, in a four chamber split cup, we put a blue flash on one, and then the next one was green grass, and then we put light yellow green, and then we put the lime green. And now we're going to basically um, do ring pour, uh, one during ring pour over a magic wand, um, similar to um, Fiona uh, from Fiona Arts, um, you know, I think she came up with this technique. Um, and so, yeah, so I saw it, it's beautiful. Obviously, everything she does is beautiful. So um, I decided to try it out. And I think one of the best things about this is the fact that this uh, magic one, what it does is uh, you can use the same exact colors, the uh, layered in the same way. Um, you can do the ring pour or you can use whatever technique um, I mean you could also do instead of a ring pour you could also just do a, um, a straight pour and but you're always every single time you're gonna have a different uh, composition so that's the beauty and the magic of the magic wand um, so hopefully um, you will be enthused by this and we'll try it out um, and lately I've been wanting to do more sort of monochrome type colors. Um, this one in particular is going to help me. Um, this is going to be like the background for a series that I'm going to be doing uh, with nature scenes and stuff like that. So this will be the background. So anyhow, so now once we did the uh, ring pour, now we try to pop all the air bubbles out because... Um, you know, if um, it allows it, I, it allows for the paint that's underneath to come up in beautiful cells. And if you do it before you actually stretch um, the composition, then um, they tend to be really beautiful. You know, sometimes they get a little big, but you can always fix that. So now we just go from one side to the other slowly um, and just trying to open up the composition to sort of take a look at what I have and then once once I uh, figure out exactly what I have then um, I'll go ahead and put um, some more flow extender I think um, and I want to put flow extender because I saw that it began to try to eat itself so like basically rolling over it, itself and I didn't necessarily want to um, give up um, all those sort of fingerlings or like they look more like uh, leaves I guess um, so so yeah so I decided to go ahead and put some more flux extender even though it seems like it's gonna be way too much I put way too much paint as it is um, because I did two of uh, 12 ounce uh, split cups and this does not this, this does not need that much paint but um, it's better to have more than to have not enough I mean, at least that's what I think, especially since if I don't, didn't have a base coat and um, don't really necessarily have the luxury of trying to uh, give or leave negative space. Although I, I will try to also um, do several of the pores where I leave some negative space. Um, but because I'm still learning to tilt and co to cover my canvases, I'm going to concentrate on that first and then uh, explore more sort of the negative space. But um, I absolutely love this technique. Um, Fiona, you know, she just comes up with this, so, so many beautiful um, and interesting techniques. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, for you to try these um, as well so again it's Fiona from Fiona art I'll try to link um, her video uh, in my description right now <laughs> I broke my um, my laptop so I am I'm not able to edit the videos as I like so as soon as I fix my laptop 
um, then I will go ahead and put uh, an extended description on my videos that gives all the information about the paints as well as where to find more inspiration um, or where I found my inspiration as well. Also, I will try to um, link um, where to purchase whatever items I've used. Like for example, the split cup that I used today. Um, I, I don't necessarily like it a lot, so, uh, but the, that's what I have right now. I did order another one from the Pour Paint store, I think it's called, and it's that's a split cup that has there's um, I ordered the set that has three chambers one that has five chambers and one that has seven chambers I think that's gonna be a lot better uh, for me um, but I'll show you and then you make up your mind whether or not you like that the one that I use today um, the thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a handle so um, because of my M MS um, you know sometimes my hands get a little shaky so um, and then also um, the the split cup does not have like a spout and so yeah so it makes it a little more difficult so with mine I, I made a little spout with tape I don't know if you were able to see that so I was able to achieve um, achieve what I needed with what I have um, like I said I ordered another set and hopefully I'll be getting that soon I also did order a leaky cup by from the Massey uh, Art Studio, and also again I was inspired by Fiona. She used it in a different way, like she used it upside down, and it produced some beautiful flowers. So um, I'll show you those um, as soon as I get that cup as well. Um, and again, I want to thank my Patreon who um, did donate um, some additional funds for um, my painting. Um, journey so uh, thank you so much I so appreciate your support um, in this and um, let me know if you'd like for me to publicly thank you um, now that I know who you are so um, anyhow um, so here let's go back to this painting I'm almost done so you'll note that the blue flash it looks like a deep gray but it really in reality if you look at it in one way it's green and then the other side it looks sort of uh, purplish uh, blue uh, now this is the, actually the final product you'll note that the big line that was in the middle I an actually ended up putting a, a bit of green in the middle until they look like leaves um, so it ended up looking really nice I really love this um, painting probably because it has I mean there's limited colors and I think that allows for my eyes to rest and it feels relaxing somehow they kind of um, look like uh, bamboo I, it just sort of to me it screams serenity um, but like I said I will be using this as backdrops for um, uh, so this paintings of like um, trees and like little animals and perhaps I'm thinking of like where I have the blue flash uh, perhaps do like um, some water feature there um, I also could just leave it the way it is because it is pretty stunning but um, anyhow thank you so much for coming to um, see this video thank you so much please give please give me a like and a thumbs up um, thank you so much and we'll see you um, at the next one